Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and this is what our part 2 where we are going to configure parking space counter project on our Raspberry OS Bullseye 64 bit version Raspberry Pi 4. But before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay friends thank you so much and let's get started. So friends as you can see uh, this is what our last session code where we left our code so if I run the code then we will have the rectangle on our frame and also we have all the crop images okay so now we are going to move forward but before we move to forward we need to make some changes inside the crop function a uh, small changes simply we are going to uh, remove the frame object we are going to mention only f here also the crop we are going to change the frame with f and the cv2 dot rectangle remain same the frame okay so this is the small changes we need to mention inside the crop function okay that's it so now we are going to move uh, uh, forward and we are going to use here uh, some image operations okay so first we are going to mention a gray frame so after frame resize we need to mention gray is equal to cv2 dot cvt color then we need to mention the frame and then we are going to mention cv2 dot color bgr to gray that's it then we are going to mention a gaussian blur so frame blur is equal to cv2 dot gaussian cv2 dot gaussian blur okay then we are going to pass our gray frame then value 551 that's it cv2 dot gaussian blur gray frame and 551 now we need to mention uh, cv2 dot adaptive threshold so frame threshold is equal to cv2 dot adaptive threshold okay cv2 dot adaptive threshold and inside that we need to pass the frame blur variable so frame blur frame blur variable then we are going to mention 255 then we are going to mention cv2 dot adaptive thresh gaussian c okay so cv2 dot adaptive thresh gaussian c okay cv2 dot adaptive thresh gaussian c then we are going to mention cv2 dot thresh binary inverse okay so cv2 dot thresh binary inverse okay cv2 dot thresh binary inverse then the value okay that's it now what we are going to do we are going to simply check our frame threshold okay so we need to in show a frame threshold so threshold okay so let's just save the code and if i run the code as you can see we have now a uh, adaptive threshold okay uh, in in this frame we are going to see uh, here it is as you can see there is a lot of white pixel and here it is as you can see there is a empty space so in empty space we have a small white pixel okay as you can see there is a car a lot of white pixel but here and here also as you can see there is an empty space so we have a small white pixel okay so we are going to stop the code okay and now we are going to mention a median blur okay so after a uh, frame threshold we are going to mention a median blur so frame median frame median is just a variable and we are going to mention cv2 dot median blur cv2 dot median blur and inside that we need to pass a frame threshold so frame threshold we need to pass our frame threshold variable okay then we are going to uh, mention uh, 
value which is the 5. Now we need to pass the kernel. So kernel is equal to kernel is equal to we are going to mention np dot once np dot once and inside that we need to pass the value 3 3 3 3 then we are going to mention np unit 8 okay so np dot unit 8 okay then we are going to mention dilate method so frame 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 dilate is equal to c2 dot dilate and we need to pass our frame median and our kernel okay so frame median and we are going to pass kernel and then we are going to mention the iteration so iterations is equal to 1 that's it now if we uh, show the frame dilate let's just show frame dilate frame dilate save the code and run the code as you can see as i told you same method if there is an empty space we have a small white pixel but if there is a car we have a large number of white pixels okay so what we are going to do we are going to simply count the pixel so stop the code and here a crop we need to pass instead frame we need to pass our frame dilate okay so frame frame dilate okay frame dilate okay that's it this is where your frame dilate and we need to come here in crop function we need to pass after c2 dot ensure right now we we know that we have our crop frames so we are going to simply comment our c2 dot show crop and we are going to use a count non zero method which will get a pixel count okay so count is equal to c2 dot count non zero and inside that we need to pass the crop okay so now what we are going to do uh, we want to show the count value on the rectangle so what we are going to do we are going to use a cv2 dot put text method we are going to put text on our frame okay then we are going to mention uh, uh, where we want to uh, put the text we want to put the text on our rectangle so we need to mention x and y minus 1 okay then we are going to uh, mention a font we are going to mention uh, say 0 then the 1 the color we are going to mention 0 0.0255 means it will uh, red and the thickness let's make it 2 okay and uh, I have forget to mention the count okay so count we want to show our count so str and inside that we need to pass the count variable that's it okay so if we start the code if we run the code and here also now we want to show our original frame so let's just mention the frame save the code all is good if I run the code as you can see uh, the number is a uh, bit let's just make it small what we are going to do here we are going to mention font cv2 dot font harshe plain okay cv2 dot font harshe plain so save the code run the code now that's good so in this frame uh, as you can see there is a counting there is a numbers this number is basically the pixel count so here it is as you can see we, we have here a car so there is a pixel 749 or 750 okay and as you can see there is a no car we have one two three uh, pixel count 123 right now as you can see 101 102 and here it is as you can see the car 698 or 700 here it is also 749 here it is also car we have the car the uh, pixel count is 404 so 
what we are going to do if there is a car the maximum pixel count is 775 but if there is no car we are going to say uh, there is a, a maximum uh, maximum count is a pixel count is 100 okay so what we are going to do here let's say stop the code we are going to say like this way after count we are going to say if if the count count less than if the count less than 150 we are going to say that we have empty space okay so if count is less than 150 we are going to say we have the free counting a uh, free space free parking space okay so let's make like this way and then the color we are going to make a green so if the free space we have green rectangle okay so if i stop the code and if i run the code as you can see we have only one rectangle because we have only one space remaining one empty space but here it is as you can see now we have two rectangle two grain rectangle because uh, we have two uh, parking space and here it is now a three so we have three green uh, rectangle because we have three parking empty space now we have four okay now what we are going to do i'm going to simply stop the code and we are going to mention the else if else else we are going to simply copy these lines copy it and else we are going to mention cv2 dot rectangle we are going to mention a red color means this time we are going to mention the red color because we have the car if count 150 less we have green rectangle for empty space else we have red rectangle for the car car means there is a car okay so if i stop, uh, save the code if i run the code as you can see the green for empty space and there is a car there is a car for the red rectangle okay green space oh sorry not green space a green rectangle green rectangle as you can see the car is left now we have again there is a car we have red rectangle so now what we want to do we want to count the parking area okay so simply what we are going to do we are going to mention here uh, as count we are going to start with zero and then here after we after we say that we have 150 pixel okay we are going to uh, increase the counter so as count plus is equal to one plus is equal to one and then we are going to simply mention the text on our frame like this way first we want to see where we have our four so here we are going to mention put text so cv2 dot put text in line as you can see we have to mention like this way so where we start our for loop we need to mention our put text in line like this way okay so cv2 dot put text and we are going to put text on our frame and then we are going to mention our text so format so free uh, let's make like this way free free space free space this is just a text and inside that we need to pass our counter so we are going to mention here our counter which is s count so we are going to mention s count s count and then we need to count the all the rectangles the number of rectangles the total number of rectangles so where we have our total number of rectangles inside the points we have all coordinates means we have total number of rectangles so we are going to mention length of the points so length of points length of points okay then we are going to mention where we want to put the text means of the coordinates so 20 50 and then we are going to mention a same font which is cv2 font harshi plane so just copy it paste okay cv2 dot font harshi plane then the one 
and we are going to mention 255.0.255 the pink color of the font and let's make it 2 the thickness is 2 ok so all is good if I save the code and if I run the code as you can see uh, let's make it uh, bigger let's make it 2 if I save the code, run the code as you can see now uh, total rectangle means total uh, space 7 and empty space are 2 there is a 2 space so we have 2 now 3 as you can see 1, 2, 3 all is red 3 spaces are now available to parking now 4 as you can see now 4 now again 3 3 again 3 ok so as you can see this is how we can count the parking space with the help of OpenCV on Raspberry Pi 4 Raspberry OS Bull size 64 bit version ok I will mention two files inside the github also I will mention the video link uh, inside my github repository ok so uh, this is how you can configure a uh, parking area counter ok with the help of Raspberry Pi 4 so we'll meet our next video till then thank you check care and bye bye